Hi, um, so we are going to continue looking at um, some questions in uh, three-dimensional space and uh, the questions um, uh, or the question that we focus on in this tutorial um, has to do with us looking for the equations um, of the plane. Okay, so we have uh, two questions here, A and B. Okay, all right, so um, Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in case you are new, consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so that each time we upload new content, you're going to um, receive notifications. We have a lot of um, videos that are coming up, so you do well to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Okay, so uh, starting with A, um, <coughs> excuse me, starting with A, so these two questions are different in the way they are formatted and looking at what we have and the way it's been given which is actually very interesting because it will give us um, a wide overview of what we need to pay attention to as we answer these questions okay so to each question I'm going to go ahead and straightforward and answer it and I'm going to give the reasoning behind why we are answering the way we are answering okay and maybe there might be another way to approach uh, the answering but um, I believe this is one of the best ways you can uh, approach such questions so for A we've been given three points let me name them to say it's A um, we have 1 comma 1 comma negative 1 then for B let it be 2 comma 0 comma 2 then for C we say it's 0 comma negative 2 comma comma 1 like that okay so uh, what we are going to do here is that uh, we have these three points those three points are points through the, uh, they are points on the plane we are told that the plane is through those points so meaning these are points on a plane and we're looking for the equation of that plane so for us to get the equation of the plane we just need a point and and uh, and a normal vector that's the only thing that we need and this is actually interesting because we are we are at liberty here to choose any point it can be point a point b point c when it comes to us choosing a point um, and a vector okay so uh, in this case you can go ahead and choose any that you feel like but I'm going to use a okay so since we already have a point how do we come up with the um, how do we come up with the the normal vector okay so maybe to give us um, a picture okay of why we are looking for the normal vector remember the standard equation of the plane is given as um, a he then here you have x minus x naught then plus b y minus y naught plus c z minus uh, Z naught is equals to zero. So the reason why I'm looking for the uh, normal vector is that it's going to give me the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. I already have the y naught, z naught, as well as x naught. Okay, so this is the reason why we are looking for the normal vector. In case you're wondering why we need the normal vector, because it's not just about finding something. Why do you need it in the first place? Okay, so in this case, uh, we are going to compute for vectors a. A, B, as well as A, C. And remember, you could have chosen to say B, A, as well as B, C, vector B, C. Or you could have chosen to say C, A, and vector C, C, B. It's still very much okay. Okay? So, these are just computations. It's still very much okay. So, A, B is going to be equals to um, 1, comma, negative 1, comma, comma, 3. The way I'm finding it is... Uh, I'm looking for vector a b okay so it's just saying 2 minus 1 I get a 1 okay then 0 minus 1 I get negative 1 then 2 minus minus 1 I get positive 3 and the same applies to you to the vector a c you just subtract these terms minus those ones okay so you're going to end up with negative 1 uh, negative 3 and and 2 like that okay so for us to get the um, for us to get the normal vector the reason for uh, the reasoning that we are going to use here is 
uh, or what we are going to use in simple terms is a cross product. Why are we using the cross product? So we need to understand to say the cross product of two vectors is going to be perpendicular to both the vectors. So if I have this vector, I have the, this vector here, the cross product of the two is going to be perpendicular to both of them. Okay. So since these two vectors that we have here are in the plane, remember these these two points, sorry, these three points are points on the plane. So it simply tells us to say uh, these two vectors are on the plane, okay? And um, the cross product is going to give us uh, a result that's that's going to be perpendicular to these vectors. So since these two vectors are on the plane. Um, So any vector that is going to be perpendicular to this one is uh, is also going to be uh, perpendicular to what? It's also going to be perpendicular to um, to the plane itself, and that's what we are looking for. That's the reasoning. So let me let me say it again. The cross product of these two vectors is going to be perpendicular to these vectors. Okay, the cross product is going to be perpendicular to those uh, vectors. Then. Any, any vector that is perpendicular to these two vectors, and since those two vectors are on the plane, that vector that you're going to find um, is going to, is also going to be perpendicular to the plane itself. And that's what we are looking for. So in this case, we're going to say AB, we cross it with AC. Okay. So this is going to be I, that's going to be J and that's going to be K there like that. So this is going to be 1 minus 1. Um, here we have 3. Then we have negative 1 minus 3 minus 2. So here, um, what we are looking for, we're going to find it this way. The, the result of the cross product um, for the I, we are going to say it's going to be negative 1 multiplied by 2 then minus negative 3 multiplied by 3 in the i, okay, minus in the j, we're going to have 1 multiplied by 2 minus, like this 1 multiplied by this 2, then we say minus negative 1 multiplied by 3, that's in the j, plus in the k, remember this sign here is just because of the, the conventional signs of a matrix, so for the k, uh, wait a minute, and we need to. I don't need to put the k in front. Okay, something like this. So um, we are going to have one multiplied by negative three minus negative one multiplied by negative one, and that's in the k. So what do we end up getting? So um, that vector that we have. Um, that vector that we have, let me just name it as vector v, okay, um, is actually equals to, uh, so this one here, we are going to get negative 2 minus, minus 9, that's going to just be plus 9, so meaning we are going to get positive 7i, okay, we are going to get positive 7i. That's what you have. Then uh, for this part, you're going to get a 2 here, minus, minus 3. That's just going to be 3. Uh, so that's going, to, that's going to mean you're going to get minus uh, 5j. That, fi that minus, I'm getting it from this point. Okay. Then the last one, we have minus 3. And that's going to be minus 1. Because minus 1 times minus 1 is going to be positive 1. Then we have this negative here, that's going to be minus 4k. Okay, there we have it. <coughs> there we have it. So that tells us that uh, our value of a, this is our value of a, that's our value of b, and that's our value of c. So it's just a matter of now substituting. So that's going to be like 7, substituting like in this equation. That's going to be 7, then x minus x naught. Uh, for the x, let me use point A. You can use any other point you see, okay? So that would be a 1, 
plus our b is actually negative our b is negative so we say minus 5 then y minus 1 then minus 4 you have z minus that's going to be plus 1 is equals to 0 so I just use that point there and just substituting that and this is going to be like 7x minus 7 minus 5y plus 5 minus 4z uh, minus 4z minus minus 4 is equals to 0 so you observe to say um, minus 7 plus 5 minus 4 is going to give you minus 6 okay so meaning this is going to be like 7x uh, minus 5y minus 4z is equals to 6 and this is the equation of the plane that we were looking for and that's how you answer question 1 a or in this case a okay so let's look at uh, b and see what we are able to do and what we need to do so for b we say uh, we're looking for the equation of the plane through a point we have been given a point let's say it's point a so it's 2 comma 4 comma 5 then uh, and we are told that is perpendicular to the what to the line that we have okay so this is uh, a pretty interesting question uh, but straightforward at the same time okay so once again we just need the point and a vector okay and in this case you already have your point okay so all you need is uh, is that vector so we have everything that we need it's just a matter of us picking so remember uh, the standard equation of the plane is a, a here x minus x naught or x1 plus b y minus y naught plus um, that would be c then z minus z naught is equals to zero so i already have my x naught y naught and z naught okay all i have to um, come up with is my a b and c which is actually already there as well okay so we are given these uh, uh, those um, equation that equation of the line okay so we are given x to be equals to 5 plus t then I'm going to remind you to say this was supposed to be like x is equals to x naught uh, plus 80 then we're also given y to be equals to 1 plus 3t but I'm going to remind you to say this was supposed to be like y is equals to y naught plus um, plus bt then the last part we have z is equals to 40 so what this tells us that this was supposed to be like z is equals to z naught where z naught is equals to 0 then plus c t so now this z, z naught y naught and x naught is not this point that you have right here that's not the point that you have there that's that's the different point because this is the equation of, equation of the plane sorry this is the equation of the line <coughs> and this is a point through a plane so they're not the same but i'm just trying to illustrate how you came up with uh with that because i'm trying to um make it simple for you to be able to pick the value of a the value of b and the value of c so what you're able to see here now is that um the value of a okay the value of a uh, the value of a give me a minute okay uh, just give me a minute okay right so my my writing part was more functioning sorry about that so um in this case our value of a a is equals to um a is equals to positive one which is just the coefficient of t here then 
b is equals to the coefficient of t there that would be a 3 then uh, c is going to be equals to um, the coefficient of t there which is a 4 so it's just a matter of now substituting in that and let's see what we what we have okay let's see what we have so in this case uh, we said our a is a 2 then we have x minus okay x minus um, um, is a 2 no 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 a is not 2 a is a 1 we have a 1 right here so that's not supposed to be like that so it's going to be x minus our x not x not in this case is going to be 2 then plus okay then b uh, we find that our b is equals to 3 then we say y minus y not our y not in this case is a 4 plus um, our c our c in this case is a 4 then we are going to say z minus z not which is um, a 5 okay which is this 5 right here so this is equals to 0 so you can go ahead and just expand this and you're going to end up with the equation x plus 3y plus 4z um, is equals to um, uh, that's going to be equals to 34 okay because uh, you have minus 2 here okay you have like minus 2 then you also have minus 12 then you also have minus 20 then you end up with uh, 30, uh, 34 negative 34 then take it on the other side is going to be uh, positive so the reasoning behind this is that um, uh, First of all, uh, the f it's first important to note that the uh, the given line, okay, the given line that this line that we have right here, okay, that line lies on the uh, lies on the plane, okay. So in the standard equation of the plane, which is um, something that I wrote, I think, yeah, which is this one here, in the standard equation of the plane, um, a, b, c are normal vectors. So we need uh, a vector that is normal to the plane. That's what we needed. Yeah, so that's why we had to, we just had to understand it from this point of view and and pick it and understanding where the line is. But in this case, we have seen to say um, uh, the line is or is on the plane or it lies on the plane. And that's basically the reasoning behind me solving this question this way. So that's why in this video, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.